Wait a minute, is that is that Superman? <laughs> I sung the wrong tune. We'll try that again. <laughs> Hello there and welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add end credits to your stream using Streamlabs Online. You can use this as a browser source on not Streamlabs OBS, or you can use it as a browser source through a widget or through the browser source function on Streamlabs OBS. So really easy to set up and you can customize this to a pretty high level. I'm briefly going to show you two versions of this, one that uses Streamlabs Online and one that's more of a manual one that uses the offline labels or any other labels functions that you have available to you. Credits are pretty cool. It's a way of just thanking people at the end of your stream and taking the courtesy out to thank obviously the cheerers, the subscribers or anyone else that's custom, such as like your wife or, or your husband or your boyfriend or, or Santa Claus, whatever, whatever you want. The Easter Bunny. You might want to thank the Easter Bunny for those tasty Easter treats or maybe the Tooth Fairy, whatever. <laughs> quite keen to understand how people are going to use this because I think you can use these at the start of your stream as well as at the end. Obviously, most people are going to be inclined to use them at the end of the stream to show who has subscribed and who has cheered bits and things like that at the end of the stream. But actually, this could be something that could be used at the start of the stream as a precursor to the stream as you're warming up. As always, if you find this useful, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. You can also come check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's do this. Okay, so you're first going to want to log into streamlabs.com. Make sure you set up an account and make sure you log in with your relevant credentials. So if you're streaming on Twitch mainly, log in with your Twitch credentials into Streamlabs Online. Likewise for YouTube, Facebook Gaming. This is a widget that we're going to be looking at today. So you need to locate the widget section. It's normally on the left hand side here, but if you can't find it, they sometimes change up the navigation. Just do a search for widgets here. It'll open up the screen here and we're concerned today with the end credits. I think this is a fairly new function from Streamlabs Online. I don't remember seeing this until recently. When you click into this, you can configure this online or if you're using Streamlabs OBS as your broadcast software, you can configure this through Streamlabs here. So if you want to configure this through Streamlabs OBS, you can click the plus icon here and simply go to the credits here, add source, you can name the source. And from here, you can literally configure everything we're about to go through on the online version. But I'm going to show you a different version of this, which is where we actually configure everything online and we copy the browser URL. The browser URL can then be used not just on Streamlabs OBS, but on OBS Studio, XSplit, OBS.Live, whatever, whatever. And towards the end, I'll show you a manual way that you can do these credits that works pretty well as well just in case people don't want to use Streamlabs online so here within this widget section we're able to configure exactly what our end credits are going to look like as long as you're hitting save settings after you've made any changes it should update on the browser url and then update on your software as well so first of all there's a few different themes we can work with base scenes there's not actually that many though i think there's probably only like one two three four five six so there's actually not a lot of flexibility built into the Streamlabs online version of this which is why i'm also showing the manual version but i'll just quickly go through what these look like there's the crawl, which is like a Star Wars theme. Geometric. Yeah, I mean, that is terrible. Okay, bubbly. Basically the same, but with bubbles instead of sharp edges. Because, you know, sharp edges don't run with knives and all that. <laughs> and we got a handwritten version as well. and stars this just shows some nice like animations along the right hand side here what i will point out here though there is custom css html here as well that you can enable at the bottom javascript as well this means that you're able to customize this to a lot further and extent as long as you enable this i'm going to keep this disabled for now let's just go with the star wars credits for now and now we go through the configurations here so we can give it titles so um that seems like an apt title. It's good that they've got this custom text here because you're able to then add some custom text to thank specific people or hard-coded text fonts that we can choose here. I would recommend updating your font to something a little bit more interesting. I normally go with Orbitron. I think it's quite a cool font. So the thing to note here is if you select the default theme, this will apply all of the theme things that you're choosing here, such as text and things like that. But if you choose one of the specific themes that they've got, like the crawl, it will fix in the fonts and things like that. So I'm just going to go through the default settings because it'll show show how the settings that I'm changing here are applied. We can increase the font size and change the text color as well. Next, we can choose what we want to include for the events that have happened throughout the stream. We can also name things as well. So you might have pet names for your followers like machine, team, 
become part of the machine team, visit me at Twitch and, and follow me. <laughs> so you can customize these each of these events and choose which ones you actually want to show and not. For example, donations, we can turn them off. And then it'll update the headings here. Just to note that the text sizes do vary between the titles and the subtext as well, which is good. Just creates a little bit of contrast. We've got option here to loop the credits or play them once. I'm going to go for once at the end of the stream. And now we can choose the roll speed as well. So let's just do uh, a little bit faster. Save settings and test these that feels like it's got slower that, that literally feels like it's got slower let's let's speed it up more oh my god it's getting slower so it appears that the, the higher the number the lower the speed we'll keep it at one second yeah that's correct you can choose whether you want to show the amounts if you've included things like cheers and donations by clicking this button here and then we can roll credits on page load as well so this will automatically roll the credits when you switch to the scene so i would probably recommend having a specific credit scene or at least an ending scene or maybe like a an interim screen that's between your live scene and your very end stream which is your credits scene another option here is that you can just include the credits in your ending scene and just kind of yeah interact it all in to one so we've kind of configured that a little bit already it's looking okay what we're going to do is just copy the widget url using this button here this will copy it to your clipboard we can now go into your broadcasting software in this case it's streamlabs obs but it could be obs studios or whatever in this case now we're going to add it as a browser source instead of going through the credits widget option give it a name add it as a new source in this, this example paste in the url here and some other settings we can look at here if we want these are the standard settings and you'll have the standard settings you always get when you add a browser source click done on that now we can go back to the online and click test roll credits and then go to our streaming software and as you can see it's appearing here the reason why it's appearing twice like that is it's appearing once here and then it's appearing on the display capture as well no it's because i've added it twice you can also resize it one quick tip here holding out and dragging will crop the item and then you can sort of fit it to the aspect ratio of your canvas size a little bit more easily like this but you can always just oversight it as well like that so as you can see with the example that i've given there it's actually a transparent background so in that case you'd have to have some of your own background and that's quite good it gives the flexibility to do that but if we now just change the theme to for example the crawl and save the settings it will update the widget here we can test roll the credits again using the same button and this time it actually covers the whole screen as long as i'm pulling this to the right side here so this is because the theme has a black background as opposed to a transparent background <laughs> wait a minute is that is that superman i can't is it super I sung the wrong tune. We'll try that again. <laughs> I did say I would show a manual way of doing this as an alternative. Now, the drawbacks to the manual way of doing things is that it's probably not as easy to set up, not as quick to set up. <laughs> If you're looking for something quick and easy, it's not going to be the right option for you. However, you do get a lot more flexibility in what you can add to doing it this way. And you can also customize every single element to exactly where you want it to be on your stream, whether that be on the end credit stream or as part of your ending scene. So the way that you would add a manual credits, you can first of all add headings by going on the plus icon, clicking on text, and this would apply in OBS Studio and various other streaming software as well. Add the source, make sure you're adding new sources to say things like, I don't know, subscribers this will add add headings and we can obviously set the text size here as well then what we need to do is install the streamlabs labels or some other labels engine make sure that you're pressing to restart the session every session so that the labels will start again each time you do a stream and that'll update the subs and the cheerers and things every single stream with this what happens is you can change the output directory with this so that it outputs to text files and then you can get the text to read from those dynamic text files so here are all the different text files that come included within the streamlabs labs labels folder and there's a lot of options here you've got all time 30 day information donation train stuff and then of course you've got session cheerers session subscribers and various other things now these files will dynamically update as events happen on your stream so by the time the end of your stream comes along there'll be data inside those from the events that have happened on your stream and to set these up all you would have to do is the same thing is go through the process adding a source add it as a text file click add source and here instead of typing the text that's hard-coded we 
we would read from file and we would browse to that specific file. For example, the session cheerers, and it'd pull that data in. And of course, you've got all the same design functions to design specific text. The good thing about this is you can design slight text tweaks for the titles and things like that. So that's where this becomes a lot more flexible. One other thing you can do here as well, if you right click on text sources and add filters, you can also add a filter here called scroll and you can add essentially like a scrolling mechanism, which will just show it scrolling through. For example, we can add a, a 50 scrolling horizontal or even going vertical just like that you can choose it to loop you can also limit the width and the height here as well as i said that's going to take a lot more work but it does mean you get a lot more flexibility on where you place those elements and you can specifically set the font the size the gradients the scrolling everything for every single element so it could be worthwhile for some of you and the styles of streams that you may have specifically so there you have it, how to add end credits to your Streamlabs OBS streaming software or using a browser source for OBS Studio, XSplit, OBS Live, whatever you want, whatever you're using. If you find it useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe for the next video. And yeah, have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care.